Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome! Come on in, come on in! How has your week been? That's good, that's good. The weather, yeah, well, let's skip the weather. After all, it is May, but, you know, normally the sun's shining, but... Not today, certainly not today. I've got a treat for you this week, but before I tell you about the treat, um, just want to let you know that my Teespring shop is now open where you can order your mugs, etc. And I've given it a proper name. <laughs> I know, it's good, isn't it? There you go. Narrowboattails.store. Very, very easy to remember. Narrowboattails.store. Then should you wish your mug, t-shirt, hoodie or whatever, then that's where you're going to find them. Now, this week um, is a sort of a semi-educational love log and along with a Steve Sprayer of Life Aboard on board Amy, Amy Jo we've been playing yeah playing big time um, I'm gonna be a horse hmm you want to find out what, what that was all about? Then watch the vlog and I'll catch up with you at the end. The Roving Bridge or Change Line Bridge or Turnover Bridge and often referred to as a Crossover Bridge is a bridge over a canal which is constructed to allow a horse towing a barge or a narrow boat to change sides without having to have the harness removed. The horse enters here where the red arrow is, walks over the top of the bridge and exits onto the towpath on the other side where the green arrow is. This is an aerial view of the roving bridge in Chester Basin next to the dry dock which is the building you can see on your left and this is what it looks like as you approach this bridge. The bridge in Chester Basin, known as an iron roving bridge, was listed on the 10th of January 1972 and is Grade 2 listed. It was formerly known as Canal Street Iron Roving Bridge and was built circa 1800 by that consulting engineer we all know and love, Thomas Telford. It has cambered wrought iron span on stone coped brick abutments and ramps. Slight uh, curved approach ramp from the south on the west bank and a spiral ramp south of the bridge on the east. As we already mentioned, roving bridges enabled horse towing canal boats to cross the canal and continue towing without being unhitched. So for our little experiment, the first thing we needed to do was to tie two 12 meter center lines together to give E on the horse aka moi to pull Morningstar along. Steve was on the stern of Morningstar enabling the steerage. Whilst we didn't need to use the engine to do this we did use the engine to stop the boat as it's one thing to get 16 tons moving on water 
it's a totally different case when you need to stop 16 tons from moving on the water. So here we go then, a quick tug to get some emotion on the boat and I had to pull it quite sharply to enable me to get across that little bridge that wouldn't have been there in its day. As you can see I'm getting tangled up in the ropes now. last thing I needed to do was to snag the ropes on any of these railings but as you can see the boat is moving quite comfortably and actually quite worryingly fast when I first saw that happen you can just make out uh, me now pulling the boat to give it a bit more momentum while I walk up the spiral pathway, still holding the rope. Here, once again, we can see the view from the drone as it looks down on the roving bridge. Just coming into view now, you can see me going up the spiral of the uh, roving bridge. There I come. Just have to make sure I've got some momentum. You can just about see the rope now, as you can see, pulling it through. hoping there is enough momentum to get the boat under the bridge but not too much so it doesn't pull me over the top of it and coming down the other side there would have been no railings here when this bridge was originally built I'm sure and less impedance for the horses with the ropes As you can now see, Steve has put a bit of reverse uh, thrust onto the engine to stop the motion of Morningstar as I approached the water point. Where I now am mooring up. Here is another view of me pulling the boat through, taken from the bow camera on Morningstar. Once you've got momentum up on the boat, it's relatively easy to keep it moving forward. In fact, I was quite surprised how easy it was indeed. Can you pull 
pull it back, stop it. And just to get one other perspective of this, here is a, a video shot from the side of Steve's boat Amy Jo as we came through. Well, thanks for walking along with me on this one. I hope that has been an interesting visit on how a, a turnover bridge actually works in practice. But before I leave you, here is just a quick drone footage of the basin. This shows the student accommodation on our port side, Telford's a pub, which is like the brick-built garage, and the exit of the basin. <laughs> Do you know something? I've been looking at me muscles. Oh, hang on a minute. They moved. I've, I've been looking at me muscles. They were so, actually, to pull the boat through. It's about 16 tonne, Morningstar. To pull it through on the water just shows how easy it was. And instead of just explaining what the style of bridges are, we thought it'd be great to show you. So I do hope you enjoyed that innovative explanation of how the commonly named crossover bridge works. It was great fun. Absolutely great fun. Anyway, anyway. Good news on uh, Fogo Narrowboat in uh, store now. The new wanted t-shirts and mugs are now available. I'll show you one. That's mine, you're not having that one. <laughs> Yeah, so if you want, we've had so many requests for Forgo Narrow Moat in merchandise, we just totally in awe of it all. So we have now uh, set up a Forgo Narrow Boat in store, and you'll find the link in the description below and also here. So this week is going to be a semi quiet week. I've got an awful lot of footage to go through. I've got some terrific shots of my trip to Ellesmere Port, my trip round there, and my return. So I need to get on and start working on next week's vlog. But not before I wish you the very best of health, take care of yourselves, and thank you to everybody who follows me on all my social media whether it be Twitter whether it be uh, Facebook whether it be YouTube and especially those that are so loving the 24 7 camera live camera thank you all so very much and until I meet you again next week you just take care of yourselves Bye -bye.